Killing for Money here, bringing you a tutorial on how to install the CryEngine 3 SDK. Now, CryEngine 3.4.3 just came out, uh, well, two days ago. So, I'm going to teach you how to install it. If you go to the crydev.net, I'll put a link in the description. If you go to their page, it'll show on the right, download the free SDK now. Now, you can go and click on the top link at the moment. It may be gone by the time you watch this video. Um, you can go and click on the top link and read all the changes for it. And then you can hit download now. This will bring you to another page that has version 3.4.3 on it. Or any number. It should not, the way that we're doing this should not change for a long time. So if it updates, this should be the same way. But if you're trying to install it, go over here and it'll say download now. You're going to click that and it will begin the download. If I go here, give it a second because I think that it's being a little finicky. Now, as you can see, it is w about one gig and it will take a fair amount of time to download so give it time but I've already got it downloaded so I'll show you what to do when, once you have it downloaded you'll see this it is CryEngine PC um, version 3.4.3 .3, or the version that you have and it's gonna be a dot zip now what you're gonna want to do is you can either use WinRAR or 7-zip I prefer 7-zip and you're going to double click on it. This brings up a list of folders. And what you want to do is you want to create a very specific path. Well, not very specific. You can just put, you take these folders out and you create another path. Let me open up my crisis because I put it in my crisis folder. And the way I have it set up is CryEngine SDK 3.4.3. And then all of the files that you just that you see right here, you select them all and drag and drop or extract them into the folder of your choosing. Once you've done that, you can either go to the bin 32. Whoops, did I mean to do that? Bin 32, and you can click on editor or launcher, or you can go to bin 64 and click on the editor or launcher. And I'll boot that up really quick just so you can see. It'll take just a few seconds to load up, and then you'll get a launch screen, so you, you'll you need an account on Crydev. I recommend you go create an account. It's just on the Crydev page, and once you've done that, you want to hit Login. This will open up the um, editor, well, or the SDK, and then you have a few options. But that is um, the way to download and install the SDK. So... There you go. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, thank you for watching. Kill for money signing out.